Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper D and here we're working on question 4. A buoy is a device uh, which floats on the surface of the sea and moves up and down when the waves pass. For a certain buoy its height above a position is in still water, y in metres is modelled by the sine function of the form y equals a half sine 180t, where t is the time in seconds. A sketch a graph showing the height of the buoy um, above its still water level between t equals 0 to t equals 100, t equals 10, sorry, showing the coordinates of the points of intersection on the t axis. Right, okay, so what we've got here in terms of a sine graph is we've got a half at the front, so for our sine graph, it's only going to go up to a half, and it's only going to go down to minus a half. Okay, so sine starts at zero, and what we've got here is 180 times by t. So if we think after 1t, so at the coordinate 1, it's going to have gone through 180 degrees. So it would be up, whoops, uh, up and down. And then after 2t's, it's going to be effectively at 360. So down, up. So that means that effectively for every two t's, we're going to get 360 degrees um, worth of a sine curve. So we need to go through it all again. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. And one more. 9 and 10. Great. <clears throat> Write down the number of times the buoy is 0.4 metres above its position, above its water position during the first 10 seconds. So 0.4, that's a bit less than 0.5. So once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times, ten times. Oh. Sorry, not 10 times. How many times is the buoy over of its still water position? Sorry, not 10 times. It's, so it's 10 times it's at 0.4 metres, but it's 5 times above it. That makes a bit more sense. Give one reason why this model sh could not be accurate. Um, waves are of a different height. Are of a different height. And length. So they're not always um, straight up and down. There some can be long, some can be short. Anything else such as um, a boy would move up and down exactly the same rate during each, each oscillation. It wouldn't do that. The period of oscillation is likely to change each oscillation. The maximum or minimum height is likely to change with time. Waves in the sea are not uniform. Okay. So, so one of those answers like that will do. Okay, five marks.